Hey y'all, so I'm coming today to do a video on the different wig caps that I use when I make my wigs. I get asked these questions a lot. Right now, there are two different types of caps that I use. I like to use the ventilated wig cap and I like to use the mesh dome cap. The most popular one amongst my customers um, is the mesh dome cap. So this is the mesh dome cap. As you can see, it's a dome cap, but it's mesh, okay? As you can see, this cap has a lot of stretch to it. As you can see, it has an elastic band all around the edge of the cap. Now this elastic band is really great. It's what makes the cap extremely great because it fits snug around the head so this is a very good cap for glueless units when i make my closure wigs they are definitely glueless snug all of that good stuff the dome cap actually comes in two different sizes so this is the regular size and then the other size that it comes in is extra large and you can tell that it's extra large because the label says extra large i get the mesh dome caps from my local beauty supply store. You can also find these on Amazon. A lot of people get these on Amazon. It is the Q-Fit brand. Okay. So the second cap that I use is a ventilated cap. It's the cap with the plastic on the back, as you can see. Now this cap does not really have any stretch to it at all. Um, the particular ventilated cap that I use is a one size fits all. In the back, it has these latches. So this is the only part of the cap that actually stretches. Um, it has latches that you can like make it smaller or make it more snug in the back by attaching the latch through the hoop. Now, when it comes to actually making wigs, like using the wig on a sewing machine, both caps are very great. They're very easy to sew on um, compared, compared to the one size fits all caps that I used to work on a long time ago when I first started making the wigs. That cap has a lot of fabric, even when you fold the fabric and um, take some of the fabric off, it still has a lot of fabric and it can make the sewing process two times longer than it should be but sewing on these caps is pretty much a breeze i can make a wig in 30 to 45 minutes on these caps so i really like them um one thing i will say when you're using the ventilated cap on a sewing machine i usually always do a zigzag stitch but on a ventilated cap it's best to use a straight stitch because when you use the straight stitch it allows the plastic to come off of the cap a lot more um easier than it would if you use the zigzag stitch i have a video showing how to pull the plastic out of this cap um, what a lot of people like about this cap more than the mesh dome cap is you have the ability to scratch your scalp. So, you know, when you're wearing your wigs or when you're wearing wigs, sometimes your, your scalp itches. And with the mesh dome cap, like you can feel, but you can't physically get to that area. With the ventilated caps, once the plastic is off, you have all of that space in between there so you can stretch your scalp and all of that good stuff um this cap is way more breathable than this one but both caps are breathable that is why this has mesh the mesh dome cap is better than the spandex dome caps that everyone on youtube is making wigs with that cap is not breathable at all every day when you walk out the house your scalp like it, it builds up it has product build up all of that build up you don't want to have all of that up under a spandex cap that's why it's great to have a mesh stone cap that way your scalp can breathe um your scalp needs to breathe because that's the only way to promote healthy um healthy scalp and healthy hair growth so that is why i really choose both of these caps they're both really great to use they're just different 
Um, it's pretty much up to my customer's preference. Sometimes they prefer, well, most of the time they prefer the mesh dome cap just because it has that nice fitted snug um, fit. And then sometimes they will choose the ventilated caps because they want to be able to stretch their scalp if they really need to. They like, um, they like how open the cap is. Um, some people actually like that they're able to adjust it in the back with the adjustable straps. Um, you know, it's just pretty much based off preference. But overall, I like both of these caps. Like, they're just really easy to sew on. And I feel like as a wig maker, um, as a wig maker, wig makers have different preference. So it's best to experiment with all different caps to see what caps you like the best as a wig maker. For me, these are the two caps that I like the best. So it may be different for you, but these are the two wig caps that I use.